You have the ingredients to the kingdom inside of you today. They are yours. And rest in them. Revel in them. If you're here today and you doubt any one of those three, don't start with that one. Go to the beginning. Go to righteousness. If you got a peace issue with God, go to righteousness. If you have a joy issue, go to righteousness. Start at the beginning. Righteousness is your first establishment. Figure out you're righteous based upon your faith. Don't let anybody steal that from you. Don't let a church or a preacher or a co-worker or a family member, and I'm telling you, they are going to work hard on you. Some of them are going to work hard on you to take away your recognition of righteousness. Let it be only in Jesus. Once you get that, move on to your peace. Try to figure out why you think God's mad at you. Why is God so ticked off at me? You settle the issue of righteousness, I think you'll settle the issue of peace. You settle the issue of peace, there's nothing left but joy. Wow. I have joy in my heart. I know who I am in Jesus. What a beautiful thing. Father, thank you for this today. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the place and the presence, this opportunity that you've given us in this place with the presence of the Holy Spirit to instill a recognition of the ingredients of the kingdom in our life. I believe that what we've accomplished today, Lord, is not a complete understanding of the kingdom, but it's the beginning steps of understanding how the kingdom wants to express itself in us. It comes out of us through our recognition of righteousness, our peace with God, and the joy unspeakable and full of glory that we possess because of who we are in Christ. Lord, I pray for my friends here and around the world who have one of these three that are shaky. Lord, we'll start at the beginning. If any of them are shaky, we've got to go back to learning that we're righteous. And Father, I pray a revelation of righteousness into your people this morning that they start to have a glimpse. Lord, I, I, I expect that someone out of this says, that was the moment where I realized that my righteousness was in God and in Christ instead of in me. And Father, I hope that happens right now or down the road somewhere as someone hears this message, that they have a recognition of their righteousness. And Father, from there, may we get out of the war mentality with God that he's fighting us on every turn. Father, give us peace in our heart the way Jesus said, I'll give it to you, not like the world. The moment we recognize our righteousness, we can recognize our peace. And Father, the joy that is unspeakable and full of glory, thank you that it is ours. In Jesus' name I pray and I feel the Spirit say that it's time to say amen. Praise God. I hope that you have been blessed today with the ingredients of the kingdom. I, I am uh, I'm very passionate about the kingdom and about the kingdom being a present reality instead of just a future. I did not say it's not a future reality. It's very obvious to me that Jesus delivers up. We haven't seen death conquered yet. Jesus has beat it, but it's still relevant in this, this dimension. I don't know how this all goes down. I'm excited that God's got it figured out. He's the first and the last. And I'm also very excited that in the meantime, he deposited the kingdom inside of his people so we can start taking advantage of it now. That we don't just, you know, flop through this life and then we get some kingdom. No, but the kingdom is ours. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. We want to pray favor in your life. Would you stand? We're going to, hey, I, it, apparently 60-something degrees, no chance for ice or snow. That's exciting. We will be here Wednesday night. Because we have no obstructions, we're going to close our study on the book of Hebrews. Very excited to, it's bittersweet really. I've had so much fun. I'm not really excited about being out of it, but I'm excited to, to put a capstone of sorts on this study on Hebrews. So you have three days to cram 39 sermons on the book of Hebrews if you have yet to catch up. They're almost an hour apiece. It'll take you half of your, half of the next three days. So get busy. Take off work tomorrow and don't sleep tonight. <laughs> so encouraging. So encouraging. Hey, I want to pray favor in your life. I, I'm believing for a great week. Be at rest this week, church, in the good things of God. Love life and see good days. Refrain our tongue from speaking evil. Let's release who we are. Put that in the atmosphere. Watch what happens in your house. Watch what happens in your kids. Watch what happens in your church, who we are in Jesus. Father, 
Your word says in Romans 5, 17, that if we receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, we shall reign in life. So I'm just standing on the word. I, frankly, I don't understand it. I have not yet figured out favor. It's amazing to me that you are so good to us. I know I don't have to have a full comprehension of why. I just believe it's real. And so I just say favor into this place. Favor in my life, favor in my home, favor in my marriage, favor in my children, favor in my, jo- my money and my job and my body. I, and Father, I'm believing it for every one of my friends right here and all around the world that just trust for favor. We're not favor givers. We don't earn this. We just believe your word when you said it's ours. And so we take it. We receive. I'm overwhelmed by the word receive. I'm overwhelmed by it's daddy's good pleasure to give me the kingdom. So I'll take it and reign in life because I'm blessed, I'm favored, I'm loved, and I'm a joint heir with Jesus. In Jesus' name, and everybody that wants it, seal it with an amen. Amen. Give God some praise.